Namaste everybody and welcome to today's beginner yoga flexibility practice. We are going to cover 20 minutes of a really, really great yoga practice to increase flexibility. Now why is flexibility important? Flexibility is important because it talks about opening up the human energy body. This is opening up key points that help blood flow in your body. How important is blood flow, you ask? Blood flow is key when it comes to oxygenating all of the parts of your body and stagnant energy, stagnant blood that isn't moving because areas are tight actually can lead to illness. So this is so important for anybody who wants to build their immunity. So if you aren't already, come join me on the mat for this powerful, powerful practice that we're going to do together. So let's go. First, what we're gonna do is start, always we start with our feet. We start with the lower part of the body and we work up. So you wanna take your feet out and rotate the ankle. Now you wanna breathe into this if it feels stiff. And when we say breathe into this, what we actually mean is you wanna breathe in. And as you breathe in, you want to imagine and focus on the area that you want to pull that air, pull that breath to and rotate the other direction. Beautiful. Breathe, breathe into that, release the muscles, open up the energy point. Beautiful, point, flex, and point, and flex. Switch, other side, rotate. If you're losing your balance, try and go more on the balls of your feet, not on the heel. The heel is more round, which makes it harder for you to balance. When you go on the ball of your feet, you've got a much flatter surface to use. Beautiful, other direction. Great, and point, flex, point, flex. Wonderful. Feet together, hands on knees. You're gonna open up the knees, gently go clockwise. So you wanna bend the knees and go in a circle. This just helps open up that mobility in the knees before we go into some deeper stretches together. Beautiful, and the other direction. Try and push the knees down and out. You can see from the side, I push the knees down and out and then bring it back. Push the knees down and out and bring it out. Beautiful. Okay, hands on hips. Legs further than shoulder width apart. We want hands on hips and we're gonna rotate. Breathe. Push back, try and go to 90. Breathe and come forward. Feel the hips opening up. Breathe in. Breathe out, keep going clockwise, come on. Feel into all the corners of the hips. Push them forward, beautiful, and go back. And the other direction. Again, push, breathe out. Come back and in, and breathe out. One last time, come on. Beautiful, all the corners, great. Now shake it off. We got the lower body just a little bit open. Now what we wanna do is take your feet even further than you had them before. And we're gonna bend the knees slightly to the right. So bend the knees slightly to the right. Keep both feet pointing forwards. Bend the knees slightly to the right. You can use your elbow in the middle of your leg on your quad and push the hip down. Open up the inside of your left leg. Breathe and now switch. Other elbow down. You can push and just open up that side hip. Breathe. Beautiful. Now the other side. Beautiful. We're adding some mobility on the other side. Dynamic stretching is extremely important. You don't want to go from cold muscles to trying to do deep cold stretches. So keeping things as dynamic as possible will help your muscles open up. Yep, other side. <laughs> and now back the other way. Beautiful. Now what I'm gonna do is ask you to turn the right foot, turn it 90 degrees, push forward, and you're gonna push this hip down. So the back foot rotates, now you're facing to your right. You want the front leg, if you have to pull it back, you want the front leg in a 90 degree, okay? Face forward. Breathe. Breathe and enjoy. We're outside today. It's lovely sharing this nature with you all. 
Feel that air, fill your lungs with breath. Beautiful, now switch. Other side. Typically try and keep your hands on your quad, not pushing on your knee. And then you wanna push your hips down so that your back is nice and flat. Breathe, push the hips into the ground. Breathe. And now we're gonna switch back again. Switch to the right, bend the knee. Look forward, breathe. What you can do is you can come in, bring your hands up to the sky, reach up. And as you reach up, you wanna sit down. So you wanna bend and really stretch into that. Breathe, deep abdominal breathing. Beautiful, and now switch, hands stay up, switch. Breathe, you wanna look up and push the hips down at the same time. Raise the body up, breathe. You can bounce a little to really open up the hips, look up. Beautiful. Now I want you to come to center. Keep both the feet pointing outwards at an angle, 45 degree angle on each side. I want you to bend, sit down. Breathe, just get comfortable in here. If you need to bring the feet closer together to get a little bit more comfortable, you can. Just breathe, keep your hands out. Breathe with me. You got this. Bounce up and down a little bit. You're warming up those hip muscles, opening up the body. Now try, lift up, straighten the right, keep the left bent. Feel how that gets a different part of your hip. And now switch. Beautiful, and now switch. Side to side, keep breathing. Feel the stretch getting deeper as you can sit back more and then you can deepen the stretch. There you go. Back and forth, open up. Beautiful. Now we're gonna take our hands up to the sky. We're gonna pinwheel down to the right, bend the right knee, put the left knee down on the mat, left foot down, breathe, push the hips into the mat, breathe, pull up. Breathe, feel that stretch in the hip. Look up, and if you want a deeper stretch, you can bring your hands up to the thigh, hold here, breathe, look forward, smile. Now a brilliant stretch from this, if anybody has really, really tight hips, I learned this from a very good physiotherapist. Now it depends on your flexibility level, you can either use a couch behind you or a chair. So. Right now, what I'll do is I'll use my hand, but you can do this up against a couch or a chair, where you bend the back leg up against a couch, so there's a couch behind you, or a chair behind you, or a bed behind you, so you put your leg flat up against it, this foot comes out, and then what you do is you breathe, and you push the hips down and pull up. It opens up this hip joint. When I first started this stretch, I was still here. <laughs> I just put my foot up against the bed or the couch and I was like this. But after a while of doing that every single day, it helped me really open up to the point where I didn't even need the bed or the chair or the couch. And I got all that flexibility back in my hip and lower back. Flexibility is all about consistency. The, reg the more you do this regularly, the more flexible you will become. Beautiful, now switch. I want you to put the hands down, put the foot down, push back into downward dog. Pedal out your feet here. Breathe. Try and make sure your heels are in the ground. You push from the hands, push back. Open up your calves, open up your hamstrings. Breathe. Now take a big step in between the hands with the left foot. Drop the right knee down and you've got it. We're switching to the other side. So push the hips. Feel that stretch. Put your hands on the leg again. Breathe. Breathe and enjoy being here. Beautiful. Now if you feel you've got this comfortable or you want to go up against a bed or a chair, you can pause and do that. Or grab the back foot. Remember, keep it at that 90. Breathe and push the hips down. Look up. 
Enjoy and feel that stretch in your hamstring and in your hip. Breathe. Beautiful. And slowly come back down, hands down in the mat and step back with the left foot. Breathe. Open up. Pedal the legs. Hold there and breathe. Now take your right foot and lift up high in the sky. Try and pull it as high as you can. Balance, breathe. And bring the right knee into your chest. Then twist and drop it down into pigeon pose. Push the left hip down. Beautiful, feel that stretch. Sometimes you can pulse here if you want to push yourself down. If you're having trouble and it's tight for you, it's better to keep the foot closer to you. As you get more advanced and deeper in the stretch, you can pull the leg out parallel to get a deeper stretch on your hip. So breathe and hold there. Smile and enjoy. And when you feel ready to, take a deep breath in and breathe out. Come down slowly onto the mat. You can keep your hands here or you can pull your hands all in front. Breathe and pull back, come down, lift up, and you got it, switch. <laughs> come back into downward dog, breathe, hold here, feel your body opening up now. Now lift the left leg up high in the sky, breathe. Tuck the left knee in, come bring it to the chest, twist and drop it down. Breathe, you can walk out the right leg, just try and get that hip down, breathe. Use your hands to support your body. And remember, feel in where that left leg should be. If you wanna bring it out more parallel and twist into that to get a deeper stretch, that's good. Just breathe. Remember to do whatever feels best for your body. And when you're ready, breathe in. And breathe out, come down. Hands out in front. Breathe. Beautiful. Now push up, come back into downward dog. How good is that, right? Plank position, hold your body here. Now we're gonna warm up the upper body so that we can start to stretch. Keep yourself in plank, tense the ab muscles, tuck the butt in, hold a strong plank. Feel the earth energy beneath you channeling through you. Breathe here, hold. Breathe here, hold, come down into elbow plank. Breathe here and hold. Flat back, tight abs. Come back up into plank, you're almost there. And when you're ready, chaturanga. Almost, this is the last bit, hold. Keep your body off the ground, breathe, and lower your body down. Hands out by your side. Well done. Breathe. Beautiful. Now take the right hand, thread it under the left, like this, and lay on top of the right arm. Lift the left one out, get that stretch and just use your body weight to open up that shoulder. Breathe. Beautiful, now switch. Left arm under, right arm out in front. Breathe.
beautiful. Now what you want to do is pull yourself up into Bhubrasan, come sit on your heels. Rest here. Well done everyone, we're almost to the end. We're going to open up the shoulders next. You've been doing a great job, keep going. What you want to do is bring your heels up, so tuck the toes in. Bring your heels up, you want your feet together. And then you want to sit back on your heels, feel the toes curling out. Feel the pressure, breathe through it. Remember how we said breathe? Breathe wherever you feel any pressure. Beautiful, if you need to come out and it's too much pressure for you, you can go back into Bhubrasan or keep holding. Beautiful. Now come join me in Sukhasan. Cross your legs. Let's open up the arms. So take the left arm down, right arm up, and open up to the sky. Open up above. Breathe. And switch to the other side. Open up the left arm, look up to the sky or up to your ceiling. Breathe in. And again to the other side. I want you to imagine that you're outside with me. Imagine you're seeing the sky above, the birds above, flying. Breathe and enjoy. Come out. Beautiful, beautiful nature. Beautiful. And one last time, keep going. Really stretch and pull the side body open. And reach over, pull the side body open. Beautiful. Now pull the neck down. Bring your head over to the right. Bring the left arm behind the back, the right onto the head and open up the neck. And switch, right arm behind back, left head over to the left shoulder, breathe. Open up the side of the neck. Now breathe and rotate with me, neck down, open up. One, keep going. And switch to the other side, do three on each side. Now grab the knees and you want to arch the shoulders forward, tuck the abs in and pull back, open up the back. Now come join me, lie on your back, just twist to the side, bring yourself onto the mat, hands by your side, breathe. Breathe and hold here. You can bring your legs up straight, feet flexed, try and create a 90 degree. If you want, bring the hips up, just pull the hips out so you're comfortably in a split position on the back of your tailbone. Breathe here. Now, if you can, this is a goal for any beginner that you can work on, is you want to use your elbows to push into the mat and push the hips up, curl them at the same time. That is the tuck goal here to get into the next move, which is an inversion. So you want to lift like this. See how my elbows go into the mat. So you lift, tuck in, hands behind your back, feet straight up in the air. Now the key with this is you want to make sure that when you pull up and get into this position, you do not want to move your head or your neck. You want to keep your head and your neck looking straight up. You don't want to twist to the side because this could actually cause a strain in your neck. So make sure you keep your head straight. Push the elbows down, push the hips, and come up. 
Get comfortable position with your elbows and hold the back. Breathe, and if you can, you can bring your feet behind the head to touch the floor. If not, you can come straight from here and just try to bend the knees. Just try to bend the knees, bring them close to the head. You'll feel the back open up. Breathe. And bring the legs back up. You can feel all the blood rushing to the head. And then slowly and gently come back down. Keep the feet up, tabletop, hands by your side, breathe, and when you're ready, slowly lower the legs to the mat. Beautiful. Breathe here, close the eyes. When you're ready, roll up onto your right side and come join me seated in Sukhasan on the mat. Namaste everybody and thank you so much for joining me today. Make sure to hit that like button, share this with anyone you think it can help and don't forget to subscribe because I am dedicated to making weekly videos on this channel to hold us all accountable to being the best versions of ourselves guys. But for now, take care, all the best.